Good day everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please, may we ask you to also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just hit the subscription icon below and the notification bell so that you get notified every time there is a new video that's being uploaded or is already uploaded. Today, I will be reading another letter coming from my inbox and this one is coming from Anne. So, let's read today's letter. Hi Chloe, I am Anne. 34 years old with a child. Nakakahiya mong sabihin pero anak ko siya sa isang ipinagbabawal na relasyon. Bago mag-lockdown, kahit bihira na kaming mapuntahan ng tatay ng bata, nakakapagbigay naman siya ng sustento. By the way, he also has three kids at dalawa na ang college. We have been in a relationship for five years already nang anak ako last year. So bali mag one year old na ang anak ko this year. Chloe, I'm one of those who lost her job sa panahon ito ng pandemya at talaga namang napakahirap. Paubos na ang savings ko at hindi rin kami makauwi ng anak ko. Plano ko sana umuwi sa probinsya dahil nga mahirap ang bumiyahe sa panahon ito ngayon. Nakukonta ko pa naman ang tatay ng bata pero hindi niya na kami pinupuntahan. Nakakapagbigay pa naman pero hindi na tulad ng dati. Hindi ko na alam, Chloe, ang gagawin ko. Kailangan ko ba siyang i-remind pa palagi sa obligasyon niya? Kung ngayon pa ako bibitaw, paano na ang bata? Litong-lito na ako, Chloe. Please help. Letter sender, Anne. Thank you so much for your letter, Anne. For those of you who would like to give their opinion, to give uh, pieces of advice, you're free to do, to do that. All you have to do is just comment down below. But please, make sure that you taste your words before you spit them out, okay? Well, I... And I, I'm so sorry to hear this, no, that you're going through something like this. I'm sure by this time that you already know that you have to deal with talaga, with the consequences of your decisions and the choices that you make in life. Alam mo right ng bata na mabigyan ng sustento ng kanyang, ng kanyang ama, but then what will you do nga naman kung sa panahong ito, eh hirap din siya. Lahat tayo ngayon hirap. Dahil nga may pamilya rin siya, mas doble pa ang hirap niya. And I can't blame him kung yun ang priority niya. Dahil yun nga ang pamilya niya eh, di ba? Alam mo, God is really good. You know why? Because He is still giving us all the chances while we are still alive to do what is right. Naniniwala ako sa ganyan. Naniniwala ako dyan. So for as long as you're breathing, for as long as you're alive, you are still being given a chance to do what is right. And sometimes... The right thing to do are usually the hardest thing to do. <laughs> Ganun talaga. I know na alam mo ang ibig kong sabihin, Anne. Nandiyan na yan. Nasa iyo ang bata. Anak mo yan. And he or she is your responsibility and your obligation. Mabigat nga lang sabihin na kailangan mong suluhin yan. Or darating yung time na kakailanganin mong suluhin talaga yan. Considering na na pamilya yung isa. Yes, right ng bata na mabigyan siya ng sustento ng kanyang ama pero sad to say eh, kailangan mong daanin yan sa legal na paraan kung gusto mo talaga siyang maobliga. Ngayon, kung sa ngayon mahirap yan ngayong gawin, so if I were you, mag-focus ka na dun sa idea na ikaw talaga ang magtataguyod sa bata. At huwag kang mag-alala, kahit bumitaw ka sa tatay ng bata, kakayanin mo pa rin yan. I strongly believe hindi na, hindi pinapabayaan ng nasa taas ang mga single moms. Okay? I don't know what you have to do, but um, alam ko that you need to hustle at this point in time. Um, nandiyan na yan eh. Sabi ko nga, nasa iyo ang bata. Responsibility mo na yan. If the father gives, be thankful. If hindi na kinakaya, and you now have to hustle. Kailangan mo nang mag-isip ng paraan and learn to accept the fact that you just might, you know, raise your child alone. So, I don't know what you have to do, but I am so sure that God can show you to the right direction as long as you keep seeking His face. You have to follow His voice, okay? And you can do that through prayers. Kung hindi uh, ka nananalangin an, Ngayon na ang tamang panahon para magsimula ka ng gawin yan. Ang dami nang nauna sa'yo, Anne. Sabi ko nga, 
we all make mistakes but you know it's our choice to keep repeating the same mistake or to stay in that mistake for the rest of our lives now if you still have a family and in the province it would be best to really go home. Lalo na kung wala ka na rin namang trabaho dito sa Manila, kasi kailangan mo unang una ng support system. And at the end of the day, e pamilya mo pa rin, pamilya pa rin natin ang sasambot sa atin. Sabi nga eh, ako naniniwala ako dito, na at the end of the day, there are only two things that's constant in this world. <laughs> um, a heartbreak and your family. Yang mga yan, constant yan. So, as long as you have a family, hindi lang naman biological, ang ibig kong sabihin, you may, you may have very close friends who can also help you. Minsan, hindi rin lang naman blood ang family, di ba? Minsan, mga kaibigan din natin, mga kakilala natin, na talagang malapit sa atin, pamilya na rin sila. And you are now having, um, you're now having your own family, Anne. Magkakaroon ka na, meron ka na sarili mong pamilya. Ikaw ang anak mo, pamilya na rin yan. So, keep the faith. Ask for direction from the one who points us to the right direction. And I'm sure that you'll get by. Eventually, you'll be okay. Sabi ko nga, marami nang nauna sa'yo. So, take care of yourself, Anne, and the baby. Focus on gathering all your strength, your resources, Thinking about what you can do. Think about your talents, mga skills na pwede mong gawin. Kasi marami kang, marami kang pwedeng gawin maliban sa mangulit sa panghihingi ng sustento. But don't get me wrong, hindi masama ang obligahin ang tatay ng bata para sa sustento para sa bata. Hindi po yun masama. Okay? But for now, focus muna sa kung ano ang kaya mong gawin. Dahil baka pag kinaya mo, masabi mo rin sa sarili mo, hindi mo na rin pala kailangan. Magbigay na lang siya kung gusto niya para sa bata. Okay? So, thank you so much, Anne, for your letter. I do hope that I was able to help you out. Um, kung kailangan mo ng kausap, you know where to find me. You can always, always send me um, a message on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash official. I'm free to chat every now and then. Pag kailangan mo ng... Um, makakausap, makapagbigay uh, sa'yo ng uh, konting push, konting um, payo, nandito lang po ako. So, that's our letter for today. Thank you so much. For those who would like to um, post a comment, you can uh, comment down below. Just make sure that you taste your words before you spread them out. And again, I would like to invite everybody to please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Easy Rock Manila on YouTube. Also like our Facebook page, Easy Rock Manila on Facebook and Instagram. And also on Twitter, you can follow us on Twitter. My social media handles are Chloe of 96.3 Easy Rock on Facebook. My own YouTube channel is DJ Chloe963. If you're looking for something to watch, but you're going to check that. And um, of course, on IG and Twitter, um, you can find me via at DJ Chloe963. Maraming maraming salamat po. Have a great day ahead and God bless you all. I love you. Bye.